As a young child in Lynn Shopping, Sweden, Eleanor Bertelsen developed a passion for sports. Tell me about your background. It couldn't have been easy traveling halfway across the world to come uh, play some college soccer here in Georgia. I mean, I grew up, I'm the baby, so I have two older siblings and they're four and six years older than me, so I'm quite the baby. I grew up on a sports field or in an arena. Dad has always been like, you should do what you want to do. And mom was like, you're my baby. Are you really going to move all the way across the world? But they've been incredibly supportive. They've came to visit me, which of course made it a lot easier. We text almost every day and, and my siblings have been incredibly supportive too. Family from overseas aided in the transition to the States. Having Swedish teammate Stina Anderson by her side was an added support system. But all in all, Bertelsen knew her priorities were in order. I think a big thing for me was the ability to combine playing sports at such a high level while getting a quality education because as it works in Sweden it's like you almost have to choose either you play on a high level or you get an education which wasn't something that I was willing to do at that point in my life so I think obviously the education matters um, as much because for me it's my future. Playing soccer and furthering her education, the two most important responsibilities for Bertelsen, not to mention doing each at a very high level. The spring my sophomore year, I actually took 19 credit hours. So I had seven classes. The problem wasn't going to class, it was problem was finding time to do all the studying. People were like, hey, you wanna come out for dinner? Or hey, you wanna watch a movie? You wanna go to the movies? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I think one thing for me is that I've always thought school was fun. Like since I was little and I still really enjoy going to school. So obviously it's easier to do something that you think is fun. This is going to sound a little bit silly, but I, I honestly think there's really no secret. You got to do the work and you have to study and it's not always going to be fun. It's not always going to be what you want to do, but you have to do the work. And I think it honestly is that easy. Bertelsen made it all look easy. On the pitch, she helped lead the program to their first national tournament victory, reaching the round of 16. Where does that reward come from you? Is it hoisting a trophy in the air or hugging someone like Stina after winning the opening round for the first time? I don't know. Oh, I told you I was gonna get emotional. <laughs> For me, I came here to get education, but I also came here to play soccer. And, you know, we've done some fantastic things. The senior class from the year we were freshmen, and I think we've done so many firsts for this program. And I think it's been amazing to have been a part of that journey. Despite the success of the soccer program, Bertelsen will always tell you her education was her first priority. I think the degree, I think that would be number one, because that's what we came here for. And then I think going to the tournament nationals is probably number two, because I don't think we could even dream of that when we came in here as 19-year-olds when we were freshmen. Bertelsen was rewarded with the Grizzly Lifetime Scholar Award for her success in the classroom, embodying the true meaning of responsibility for a student athlete. You have graduated from GGC mm -hmm. with a bachelor's of science degree, and it took you four years to get a four-year degree. Yes. And you never made anything other than an A. That's correct. I think responsibility is doing the right thing even when it's not the easy thing. And I think you often stand at a choice where you can, you can choose to do the easy thing, but doing the right thing, even if it's the hard thing, I think is a big thing.